All right, what's going on guys? Eric here back with another video for you guys. In today's very special video, we're actually gonna go over Chris Bumstead's new pre-workout. So let's go see what's inside of it. And that's why I've come up with my very own line of custom products to help you become almost as thick as me or my stash. All right guys, so we're gonna start from top to bottom together. So very first thing that Chris puts in there is vitamin C as absorbic acid. That's really there for uh, reuptake. On top of that, guys, he's gonna do a mix of vitamin B6 and methylated B12. So I absolutely love this mix because vitamin B12, especially the methylcobalamin form and the B6, it's really good as a natural energizer. So what they really do is they come together and they help our body metabolize our carbs, fats, and proteins into readily available energy so that we can actually use it during our workout. But on top of that, guys, is especially with the B12, it's really good to use as a crash protector. So a lot of these pre-workouts that are out these days, they're pretty high stimulant and it's pretty normal for us to feel really good during the workout and then afterwards we feel like complete garbage. So when you add something like a methylcobalamin B12 that's in there, it really helps with the crash. That's why I like to have it in there as a crash protector or really just a pillow for us to kind of hit instead of just hitting the ground hard after the workout's done. And on top of that guys, he uses a methylated B12 which is my favorite form of vitamin B12 because the methylated form as opposed to the cyanocobalamin B12 is a lot more absorbable, meaning that when we take it, our body actually uses it and we get all the benefits from our B12. So high absorption methylated B12 mixed with the B6 for natural energy and crash protection. So love that. On top of that guys, he has sodium from Himalayan pink salt and also potassium. So this one's really cool. I don't see a lot of pre-workouts doing this and I wish that they would because once again, going back to the stimulants guys, especially when it comes to caffeine and hydrous, which this one does have, is stimulants are really strong diuretics as well. So when you ingest them, yeah, they're gonna give us energy, but at the same time, they're gonna make our body expel more water. And what we're losing in that water is our electrolytes, where we're gonna feel lethargic, we're gonna feel tired, we're gonna feel really, really weak. And when you lose your electrolytes, you also have a hard time having muscle contraction. So the fact that Chris puts this in here, the sodium with the Himalayan pink salt with trace minerals in it, and also the potassium, it's really good to help keep us hydrated so that we feel really good. We have a good mental acuity and at the same time, we get our muscle contractions back and we can just continue and have fun with our workout. So definitely check on the electrolytes. Chris puts in vegan fermented citrulline. So this is gonna be citrulline not mixed with malic acid. This type of L-citrulline is basic, and I love L-citrulline as opposed to old school L-arginine because citrulline turns into L-arginine, which then turns into nitric oxide, which is really good because that's gonna open up the veins, it's gonna allow more blood flow, more oxygen to punch into our muscle tissue. Not only giving us really good pumps so that we look good in the gym, but at the same time, guys, it really helps with our oxygen, like breathing a lot easier and really good for muscular endurance as well and recovery, so good job on that one. I absolutely love that. And if you're vegan, you're gonna enjoy that one too. On top of that, Chris puts beta alanine in there, 3.2 grams. You guys already know what that is. That's a lactic acid buffer. So that's gonna lower the lactic acid buildup that's inside of our muscle tissue so that we have a higher pain threshold. We could train a lot longer and it's really good for cranking out those extra reps and increasing our muscular endurance. Therefore, increasing our work output and through that is gonna equal more gains as well. So definitely check it out. Let's see, so this one's kind of odd. Chris puts in creatine monohydrate at only three grams. So as you guys already know, creatine monohydrate helps with strength and power, helps with ATP production, helping with hydration of the muscle cells to help increase power output. But creatine at three grams, especially if there's only 20 servings in here, it's really not gonna do that much for you because especially if you're new to creatine, it actually takes a while for creatine to actually flood the muscle cells so you can fully saturate the muscle tissue. So with with this only having three grams and only 20 servings, it's probably not gonna do much for you. And creatine is something that, but for most people who are really big into weightlifting or just fitness in general, guys and girls, most likely you should probably be taking creatine by itself on your own 
anyway. So mm, that was that was okay. I guess that would be a negative. Um, next, you're gonna have betaine and hydrous, uh, otherwise known as trimethylglycine. This actually has quite a bit of health benefits as far as really good for your heart, really good for your liver. But really, what it's good for is it acts kind of like creatine, so it's like a creatine mimicker. So. It's an osmolite that really helps to drive more water deep into the muscle tissue, hydrating the muscle cells. And a hydrated muscle is also gonna be a stronger muscle as well. So it really helps with not only strength, but also power output. And on top of that, guys, it also really helps with muscle protein synthesis and therefore helping us to build more muscle tissue as well. So definitely check on that one. Really like that. So next on the list, we're gonna have glycerized glycerol. So this one is really cool. I've talked about this one before. You guys know I'm a big fan of glycerol because it's extreme cell volumizer, meaning that it's gonna take all the water that we drink and pull it deep into the muscle tissue, giving us really good pumps. So this is one of those ingredients that I just absolutely love having in a pre-workout because it just, especially if your gym has really good lighting and good mirrors, like I hate to sound really shallow, but when you have glycerol inside of your pre-workout, your odds of having a really good pump are pretty high. So love this one. It's really good for muscle pumps, but it's also really good for muscular endurance as well. And fair warning guys, because it does pull a lot of water deep into the muscle tissue to give you those big pumps, drink a lot of water with it. But yeah, glycerol, glycerize, big muscle pumps, definitely check. All right, so next on the list, Chris puts in taurine. So taurine is an amino acid. Once again, it is an osmolite. That's gonna pull more water deep into the muscle tissue, once again, helping with strength and power output. Next, he's gonna put agmatine in there. So agmatine, I love the fact that he puts agmatine in there because what he had previously that I mentioned in the beginning, guys, is he had L-citrulline, which is gonna, once again, open up the veins, causing more blood flow and more oxygen to punch into the muscle tissue. But there's always like that little enzyme that shrinks our veins back to normal size. Well, that's where agmatine comes in. Agmatine is a pump extender, meaning that it momentarily kind of flicks out that enzyme that kills our pump, allowing us to have longer pumps for a longer duration. So it's a perfect mix of having a pump extender like agmatine mixed with the L-citrulline combined together to have something that's gonna cause the pump and then something that's gonna increase the duration of the pump so that we have those benefits for a lot longer. So definitely check on that one. Let's see, ooh, this one's cool. So we have L-tyrosine in here. So L-tyrosine is an amino acid that is a precursor to dopamine. So when you have L-tyrosine into the system and you have that spark in dopamine, it's gonna increase our training intensity, our muscle contraction, and also increase our motivation and enjoyment while we're training. So definitely check on that one. So next on the list, guys, Chris actually puts in a mix of nootropics in the form of alpha-GPC and also Huperzia serrata. So what those are gonna do is that actually helps with the buildup of acetylcholine production in the frontal lobe of our brain which in turn is gonna help with improved brain function, it helps the neurons in our brain actually communicate a whole lot better, increasing focus, motivation, and also muscle contractions as well. So, nootropic focus, brain power, and muscle contractions, definitely check. So next on the list, Chris is gonna put in coconut water powder in there, putting a bigger emphasis on hydration, so absolutely love that. Chris puts an emphasis on keeping electrolytes in the body so that we don't lose too much of our water so that we feel a lot better and that we can just continue having fun with our training. So definitely check on that. On top of that guys, now we're gonna be dipping into the stimulants here. So Chris puts 260 milligrams of caffeine anhydrous in there, followed with 45 milligrams of di-caffeine malate. So caffeine anhydrous guys is a very potent caffeine. It hits you hard, hits you quick. It's three times more potent than regular caffeine because it's triple filtered. So that's what's gonna give us that motivation, that intensity, that energy, that dopamine kick, so we're having fun in the gym. But he also reinforces that with that 45 milligrams of di-caffeine malate, which is gonna be a slower releasing, not slow, but slower releasing caffeine to kind of smooth you through and give you more energy throughout your workout and kind of prevent that crash that happens after the workout as well. So hits you quick now, 260 milligrams, but also a smoother release of that caffeine and energy later with that 45 milligrams of Thai caffeine malate. So definitely checking that. 
Next, he's gonna put in L-theanine. So this one's really cool. I'm glad that Chris put that in there because L-theanine and caffeine are best friends. So when you have caffeine that's hitting you quick, giving you all that energy, it can sometimes also cause a little bit of anxiety, cause you to be a little bit all over the place, especially when you have roughly that 300 milligrams of caffeine that's in here. The L-theanine actually takes all that energy and it creates a tunnel vision with it. When I say they're best friends, really guys, when they're paired together, it just takes all the energy that the caffeine's giving us and it puts it into a nice focus and into the right direction. That way we're not all over the place and we can hone in and focus on our workout. So definitely check on that one. So the very last thing that Chris puts inside the pre-workout is gonna be astrogen. So astrogen is really cool because what it's gonna do is it helps our body actually absorb everything that's in the nutrition label. So all those ingredients that I just mentioned in the past 10, 15 minutes, there are heavy doses in there as well. So what's the point of spending money on a supplement if our body can't actually absorb it? So that's where the astrogen comes in is it just helps our body absorb everything that's in the nutrition label so that we get all the benefits and we're not wasting anything. So definitely check, triple check on that. So good job on that one. Yeah, so that's gonna be it guys. Everything in there looks really good. Chris covers everything from strength, power, hydration, electrolytes, vitamin, natural energy, caffeine hydrates to hit you quick, dicaffeine malate to smooth you out. The mixture combo that I really like is gonna be that agmatine mixed with the citrulline and it's not mixed with malic acid so it's pure citrulline causing an even better pump and you have that agmatine to make sure that the pump lasts longer as well. You have a lot of different things in there to swell the muscle cells full of water so you have a pump coming from two ways one from the blood flow but also the other one from internally pulling the water deep into the muscle cells from the inside out and on top of that you get the nootropics for that focus and intensity but you also get the l-theanine to take all the energy that the pre-workout provides puts it in the right place and then you also get the astrogen in there to help you absorb everything that i just mentioned so overall guys everything looks really good i don't expect anything less because i'm a big fan of jack factory and an even bigger fan of chris bumstead as a bodybuilder and as a person and i know that it's only 20 servings as opposed to the the classic 30 servings but to be honest guys the pre-workouts that are going to be coming out now and in the future are most likely going to be 20 serving pre-workouts so that's gonna provide you 20 workouts, obviously. So that'll be a whole month excluding the weekends. The reason why I would actually prefer the 20 servings is because going from 30 to 20 servings actually allows the pre-workout to be properly dosed, which Chris's pre-workout does with the exception of the creatine. So 20 servings gives you the whole month's worth of working out with taking the weekends off. So just giving you a heads up on that one. I don't have a problem with it but as long as it's properly dosed, that's really all that matters to me and that no one's skimming the consumer out of the correct dosages. So in my overall opinion, guys, I'd probably give it a solid 8.7, 8.8 out of 10. Yeah, I think you guys are really gonna like it too. But anyway, guys, that's gonna go ahead and conclude our video for tonight. If you guys do have any questions whatsoever, just let me know, comment down below, and I will try to get back to you as fast as I can. Anyway, I love you guys. I'll see y'all in the next video. Good night. Pin down and I'ma get it right. Get on sight like. And I'ma get it right, get on sight like Never really know when you're gonna go Why you gotta put another foot in front of yours Bury them toes, carry them clothes I was never one to care about my man toes I was like froze, now I'm on floor Give me that smoke but I can't get high We do the most, here to inspire You don't wanna sports but I can't get tired Run for your life every night See in the dark, blind by the light I got the spark, I got the pipes All of my arts coming to life Had to face my fears while I chased my peers And I found my spot Felt time that I found myself I've been out here walking that walk Like first off you don't run nothing All talk and your team bluffing My squad we all